Hey y'all, this video is to show us how to assemble our love box. And our love box has quite a few layers and so we are just going to glue it together. So this is your bottom layer. This is what is going to be on the inside of your box. You then should have three hearts and these are going to be the depth of your box. You've got a heart with score lines. This is the inside of your lid. So this is your top, this is your inside. You're gonna have a little heart that's cut that you can adhere as your lip. And then we are gonna have some detail on top, but we will get to that in just a second. So let's go ahead and glue these up. We are going to add a bead of glue to the outside of our heart. It is okay if your glue runs to the outside because we are going to sand it all off. You just don't want the glue to really run onto the inside, so you're gonna to have to watch out for that. So, we are going to set it down, and that's gonna be our first layer. See how we have a little bit right there? So we're just gonna pick it up. And we are gonna lacquer this when we're done, so some of that should disappear too. Another thing you can do is you can grab a needle. If you have a needle around, which I don't have one handy, but you can take your needle and just scrape on the inside and that fixes it as well pretty easily. So again, we are going to just sand all the outside. So all the glue on the outside will disappear. Okay, so then we are going to go ahead and glue our next layer. Get a little bit more glue down here. We're gonna go ahead and place this down. Okay. And let's go ahead and do one more. Place it down. Okay, so I grabbed a needle. I'm just gonna go through and clean up my edges real quick just by just scraping the, the glue. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a baby wipe for the rest. So the edges, let's take a baby wipe, clean the glue off. Clean the glue off in there starting to set up already, which is kind of crazy, huh? So we're just cleaning off all this glue. And again, we're gonna sand when we're done. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we are going to line it up. And this glue dries fast. It's great. And if you're wondering, I'm using Ultimate Tight Bond. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna just go over this one more time with my baby wipe. This is just a cheap baby wipe from grocery store, nothing fancy. Okay, so that is the box glued up and layered. Again, we're gonna sand the sides, so don't get too upset about that. Okay, so now we're going to glue our lid. This we need to be careful, so we're gonna do a very thin bead all the way around. Go ahead and clean off the edge. 
be proactive. I'm going to kind of dab it down. Okay. So now we've got the line scored, so we know where it needs to go. We're going to set it down. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and let this dry. And we will do the next part in a little bit. We are going to flip it over. So this is your lid, flipping it over. So as an example, so see how cute that is? All right, here's, here's your lid. We're gonna put this on first. So we are going to glue Actually, we're gonna to need to dab it over here because you'll see in a sec why. Again, 3M would probably make this easier. Okay, so we are going to set this down on top. All the excess glue on the inside does not matter for this side. Let's go ahead and clean up the edge. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to just add some more glue in here and we are going to put in our interior pieces. Now you can just make one big piece I wanted to, of course, do something special because I like doing fun things. So we are going to alternate pieces. So we're gonna add in a piece. Let's see which one's next. This one probably goes up top. Now, I did an illusion of cut, so this is actually a high quality score, which makes it look like it's been cut. And once you actually put it into the piece, it's gonna look more like a cut than a, than a uh, score. And those that use other laser cutters that have no idea what I'm talking about, basically scoring is when you are cutting, but on such a low power that it's going to just mark the wood. Uh, it is not the same as engraving. Engraving is gonna take us back and forth. This is gonna still follow the line just like a cut, but your power is so low that it doesn't cut through. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of glue to this one because I didn't get any in that corner. I did adjust this so that it's gonna be a little bit tighter. It's not gonna be super loose. Let's see here, I think this one goes down, down there. Like this. There we go. And then the last piece up top. Up here. Oops, got a little bit glue. Got a little crazy on my glue. Okay. So again, we're kind of mimicking this V shape to bring out, you know, the hearts and the V for Valentine's Day. Okay, we are gonna let this dry and we are gonna come back and sand the whole box to clean up our edges. Okay, so here's our box and I went ahead and put the lid back on to sand it. So um, we are just going to sand away.
All right. I think I'm going to call that done. Now, I love rustic look. So for me, I actually love how this looks. Um, that may not be your thing, which is totally fine. You could uh, decide to um, stain the side instead. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to actually leave it worn because I think it gives it that old, you know, quilt, old look that we're going for when you're using all natural woods, that rustic look. So the last thing we need to do is spray our pieces with some shellac. So let me go grab my shellac real quick. Okay, so I've got my shellac, bullseye shellac. What we're gonna do is we are going to spray it um, on the inside, the edges. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so let's, uh, I should probably clean up the back real quick. Let's clean up the back real quick. Now something else you can do is you could engrave your pieces, I don't know if you can see me. You could engrave your pieces uh, on the inside with like a little message. It could be really cute. Okay, let's let's spray it. So we're just gonna go around. We're gonna spray the inside, spray the ups. If you've ever used this stuff, you know it just, it dries so fast. And I'm just, okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and spray this guy. Oh, look at that red. Just pop out. Spray the sides. Oh my gosh, that's so, cool. so awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. Let's go ahead and grab our Okay. Put them up here. Gotta move my arrows out of the way. I think that's it. Oh, I love this collection. I think this is such a cute collection. So I hope you guys like it too. And uh, please comment below if you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like for me to make more, like it. Thanks for watching.